you guys thought I'd put together a video on this uh, servo saver I've been machining. Um, it's getting there gradually. This is the first part of it here. Uh, secures the two A arms, or the rod arms rather. And if you can see it, if you turn it from the center actually, like where the servo is going to support it, it turns very freely. And everything works great. I don't have no binding whatsoever. What it'll be, this will be actually suspended uh, probably an inch off the surface. Uh, the servo will set approximately in this location. I'll make a mount for it as well. There'll be two arms that come off this one here and the one in the back as well. That will be the pivot point. Uh, they'll have a 10 by 22 inch. Uh, seal ball bearing, two of them in each of the arms, so there'll be four total. Uh, that should take all the any binding out of the servo as far as that, if there is any either. Makes things uh, just work a little bit more smoothly. But that's my next step to build them. And as I mentioned, there'll be two of them. They'll approximately come out here and they'll be on posts. They'll stick up higher. This will just have a single arm on this side here. And this will have an arm that comes out the same as this side. It will also have an arm that comes off the side of it, um, it will be all one piece. Um, and the servo will mount to that arm. So when the turbo servo turns right, it will pull that arm, which in turn will push this rod this direction, and obviously it will turn right. But anywho, that's where I'm at on the servo saver for the Beretta. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.